what is up people so today i'm going to show you a video uh, something from a page that has been all over instagram lately it's this one i know if you've already seen this but it's a pretty fairly big page i've been recommended and a lot of people have sent me this it's from the healthy habitat yeah if the person is almost blind from cataracts um yeah have the surgery but if it was me i'd probably do the castor oil for a month or two and see if that helps now that sounds like medical advice right so you would assume this person is a doctor is a qualified medical professional or something but if we go to their page the bio says not medical advice what does that sound like then if that's not medical advice what else was it then this is like those bros crypto bros on youtube who who say not who who tell you where, which coin you invest your money in and at the end of the video they say not financial advice how are you supposed to take any take away any message from that video let's go back to the video and watch it watch what else she says remember our surgery has come a long way in fact all surgery has come a long way i i i think it's the only area in medicine that has really advanced is surgery but um regarding drug medication i i think we're we're still in the dark ages there yeah sure uh, all the trials all the randomized placebo controlled trials that have been done since then therefore there for whom then what are those then they're in the we're still in the dark ages despite that okay uh twitching eye or floaters in the eye the twitching eye magnesium can help that you see your eyes nose ears and mouth are all connected by you station tubes is some foods that cause a blockage of those tubes like she's just rambling i think some of what she says might be factual but she's just rambling man let's embrace a healthy lifestyle it's all from this lady Yeah, that's another suit design speech for you. Let's see what else we got. First thing in the morning, हम क्या करते हैं? मंजन, अगर heart attack आता है, तो सबसे पहले हम दवा कहाँ रखते हैं? जीप के नीचे. Sorbitrate क्यों रखी जाती है? क्योंकि जीप के नीचे अगर दवा रखें, within seven seconds वो दवा heart में जाके heart attack के patient को बचा सकती है. तो अगर chemicals जीप से, जैसे कि हमने कहा, चमड़ी से absorb होता है. जीप से भी एब्सॉर्ब होता है और सुबह पहले हम जब वेयर डू दिस पीपल कम फ्रॉम व्हाई दे से ओह माय गॉड श्योर देयर आर सर्टेन केमिकल्स व्हिच हैव द एबिलिटी ऑफ बीइंग एब्सॉर्ब्ड इनटू द बॉडी थ्रू द स्किन लाइक से ऑर्गेनिक मर्करी एंड स्टफ बट यू कांट से एवरीथिंग विल बी एब्सॉर्ब्ड बाय द स्किन इट वुड बी कंप्लीटली अनसेफ टू हैव अ थिंग लाइक दैट इन द पॉकेट टू दैट कैन बी एब्सॉर्ब बाय द स्किन so we'll have regulations against that and it's been studied countless times so we already have information regarding this so oh my god i can't believe this is going out to 419k likes chemicals laga rahe hain and these are full of sodium lauryl sulfate sodium monosulfate sodium lauryl sulfate and monosulfate are detergent and they cannot be absorbed through the skin hum jaane anjaane mein chemicals kha bhi rahe hain और सुबह पहले शुरुआत ही वीडियो इज जस्ट प्रमोटिंग कीमोफोबिया इन फैक्ट एवरी थिंग एवरी फूड इवन द वॉटर यू ड्रिंक इज जस्ट अ केमिकल इट्स टू वो और इफ इट्स फूड इट्स ऑर्गेनिक कार्बन कॉम्पाउंड आई एम श्योर बट हिम से इट्स जस्ट केमिकल्स डसेंट मेक एनी सेंस केमिकल से करते हैं जिसके कारण कैंसर सबसे सिंपल जो रहेगा आज की फर्स्ट सो वीक व्हाट केमिकल कॉसेस एंड कैंसर लाइक हाउ इज एनीवन सपोज्ड टू टेक यू सीरियसली इफ यू जस्ट वांट टू ग्रो थ्रू फियर मॉन्ट्रिंग श्योर फर्स्ट कम्युनिटी के लिए दैट इज सोडियम लॉरल सल्फेट या मोनोसल्फेट फ्री टूथपेस्ट वो इजीली अवेलेबल है पुराने जमाने में जैसे लाल दंत मंजन्स वगैरह होते थे इवन लॉन्ग इलायची का पेस्ट पाउडर बना के यू कैन यूज सी द प्रॉब्लम विद हर्बल there still herbal chemicals there still phyto chemicals plant origin chemicals that's what phyto means now the problem is that in the place of chemicals he is advising all these things 
which don't have proper studies on them which we don't know the safety of there are uh, harmful phytochemicals which can cause liver injury uh, i've talked about those a lot but replacing something we have limited evidence or no evidence of cancer but just because it's an unf- unfamiliar artificial chemical doesn't mean the alternative is a herbal chemical those are things we don't have enough uh, facts on enough evidence on enough data on so yeah Let's watch the next one This is an ancient or medieval practice called bloodletting where oh my god you make a prick in someone's body so the the blood flows out and that is supposed to take away whatever disease or discomfort you are having so here bloodletting for cranial pressure migraine my god dude if you take away some blood you have other blood in your body that can replace that that won't heal and the pressure doesn't go anywhere new blood will come into your blood stream and the pressure will remain the same you're going to drink water right fluid will come in blood cells are going to be manufactured in your marrow so the blood pr- pressure is going to come back again what are you going to do another uh, pricking another bloodletting procedure Mm-hmm. See by the way this is allopathy this is allopathy what we have today is a uh, well studied well evidence based things that we know actually work and we call that modern medicine please stop you calling that allopathy call this allopathy let's look at one more video so traditional chinese medicine like ayurveda in india is something you can get a degree in in china and do stuff like, like this see it's all based on pseudo science but even if something is based on pseudo science for a proper trial medical trial is conducted on it and we know what works and what doesn't work discard what doesn't work and take in what works i think we can validate that practice that's what happens in some aspects of yoga i don't know if everything he has shown in this video is a practice that has scientific backing uh in traditional chinese medicine however i do know that some elements of traditional chinese medicine have been studied and have proper backing now but we don't have that in ayurveda yet yeah i never say it traditional medicine has no value it can have value but it needs scientific rigor first i see traditional chinese medicine in the same way that i see ayurveda as something based in pseudo science unless it's studied and has that backing we cannot rely on it basically the problem with ayurveda is that people are so sentimental about ayurveda that if someone finds a negative result that goes against ayurvedic ideas or principles there will be so much opposition from the people or people who practice ayurveda that such studies rarely ever come out so we now have a body doing ayurveda research something they calling it research but it's no one near actual research i've gone into a lot of detail on this over on the main channel in my ayush video but that's the issue with uh, ayurveda over other forms of alternative medicine on top of the fact that ayurvedic uh, medicines are usually concoctured of multiple uh, ingredients multiple herbs and it's very hard to isolate one single herb and see what effect it has but um, yeah these are the issues with ayurveda now i'm not saying that such research cannot come out that validates ayurveda properly but such research has all these hurdles to overcome so until that happens Yeah I don't see any point in relying on Ayurveda I'll see you in the next video